It's been a few days since the trailer for season 11 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life dropped and there has been a lot of people talking about a lot of different things in the trailer. The two main topics of discussion that I have seen from the trailer have been their family's choice to have Bab's funeral played out on the TV screens. Now, we all have different opinions on that, but the other is Whitney's alleged half-sister. Shout out to TV show's Ace for talking about this because it seems like this seems to be the topic of the conversation when it comes to the trailer that was just released for the new season of My Big Fat Fabulous Life. The surprise sister, let's talk about it. Whitney Thor's family expands with surprise sister. Whitney Waythor's family is expanding with the addition of a surprise sister. Yes, my big fat fabulous live viewers will get to meet her half-sister for the first time in season 11. So, how did all this come to be and where did the mystery sibling come from? Read on for the exciting details. We sure will. TV shows ace. Thank you. Whitney Waythor's family expand. Okay. Season 11 of My Big Fat Fabulous Life is just around the corner, but is filled with a lot of emotional moments. Of course, Whitney Thor, her father Glenn, and brother Hunter are all dealing with a huge loss. Whitney's mother, Bab, sadly passed away in December 2022. Therefore, the family will be seen mourning her death. Yet, they have to get Glenn back in the swing of things, so Whitney proposes that they get him to create a bucket list per a preview on people. He goes all out and ends up getting a tattoo and having so much fun. Then Whitney mentions that they are going to contact her sister. Dun, dun, dun. Now this is a shock that Whitney Thor actually has a half sister named Angie. It is now season 11 and no one has seen this woman ever. But it turns out Glenn had a daughter out of wedlock even though meeting her is something that needs to be done. It is still very surreal and could be too much for everyone to handle. As they pull up to the home, she is seen from behind walking outside. More so, Whitney cannot believe the time has come. So when did all this happen? According to Starcasm, Glenn apparently impregnated a woman when he was in the military. Upon coming home, Bab supposedly said that Glenn could not be in contact with the mother or Angie. Allegedly, this also meant he could not even support his baby as well. Just recently, Angie decided that she wanted to get to know Glenn, so she made an effort and it seemed to have paid off. Though it looks like Whitney is being very accommodating in getting her dad together with Angie, it, it apparently is not like that. Supposedly, Whitney had no desire to get to know her half-sister. Additionally, Angie and her side, wait a minute, Angie and her side were not interested in appearing on the show. However, they have clear, clearly agreed to make something work, but with terms and conditions. Angie could not stake her claim on the estate of her parents. So the happiness and excitement that Whitney shows on camera may just be for cameras. Are you shocked that Whitney has a half-sister? Okay, well, I could go ahead and answer that. Yes, I've read everybody is shocked, including myself. I wanted to discuss these comments because they are very, very interesting to me, and I thought you'd find them interesting as well. Okay. Just how are they going to make this into something that doesn't make Glenn and Babs total, total um, douchebags, basically, I guess is what they're saying. Interesting article, especially where they suggest that the happiness Whitney shows in meeting her half-sister may just be for the cameras, which we all assumed. Glenn choosing to be an absent father isn't a great look. Also, not a good look for Babs. I wouldn't want to be with someone who could abandon a child, nor would I want to be with someone who would ask me to do that. It is very minimizing. Long lost daughter. 
makes it sound like the mom took the kid, vanished, and Glenn had no idea where they went. Instead of the reality, Glenn ditched the kid and pretended she didn't exist for 40 years. This person said, when I first heard about this, it lowered my opinion of Glenn and Babs. I'm still surprised people praise them and think they're such awesome people. I just assume that they don't know about this long lost daughter. Then this person brought up an interesting point, which I've heard before. I'm sure when this first broke, he had a son, not a daughter, question mark. I have seriously seen this brought up and I was like, whoa, people are pointing it out. You can't fool the people, okay? You cannot fool the people. So somebody said, yes, as I recall, the story first broke here on Reddit by fairy court and in the telling and retelling of it some details got muddled in part because it's a bit of a confusing story and partly because when you retell stories it's like playing telephone details get miscommunicated and then amplified and repeated that is unclear whom glenn impregnated out of wedlock was it kiko his japanese girlfriend that babs knew about after the fact because she and glenn weren't together when glenn and kiko were seeing each other or was it a girlfriend an american he was dating again after he and babs got together when glenn impregnated before he wanted before he went to vietnam at least these are my confusions about the story as it stands today the essential story is the same a baby out of wedlock fathered by glenn turns out it's a half sister instead of brother I don't care much myself. The rest of the story, that's unclear and interesting. I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions on this is. So, meet me down in the comments below. Like and share this video. Have you seen the trailer yet? Go watch it and come back and let me know what you think. Also, subscribe if you have not already. I will keep you up to date with all the latest and greatest on this specific trashy show. Don't forget, season 11 premieres September 5th, only on TLC, so mark your DVRs, mark your calendar, or set your DVRs, mark your calendars, do all the things. Go have a good weekend. I love you for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.